Hello YouTube, Library and Larry here, and today I'm going to be answering a question that has been on my mind since I first started playing Toontown. Is it faster to walk or jump in Toontown? Personally, whenever I go anywhere in Toontown, I usually jump there. This is a habit I have had since I first started gaming, but for some reason, whenever there's a game that allows jumping, I would rather jump there than walk there because it just feels faster to me. So after all these years of just doing this habit without even thinking about it, it made me think, well, is jumping actually faster? So the purpose of this video is to find out which is faster, walking or jumping. In order to find this out, I need to conduct an experiment. So for my experiment, I decided to have my tunes run and jump down a street in Toontown. Then using my editing software, I would find the exact frames where they start and stop moving and cut the rest out. This gives me the total time it took them to run or jump across the street. Then I would do it 14 more times to give us a total of 15 clips for both running and jumping. Finally, I would find the average of all 15 times and get the average amount of time it takes to run or jump across the street. For my experiments, I chose Lighthouse Lane in Donald's Dock. So to start, I had Meow Mix run across the street 15 times and I recorded how long it took him each time. The times I got were 56.14 seconds, 56.14 seconds, 55.21 seconds, 56.10 seconds, 56.16 seconds, 55.25 seconds, 56.06 seconds, 55.28 seconds, 55.27 seconds, 56.14 seconds, 56.06 seconds, 56.02 seconds, 56.25 seconds, 56.01 seconds, and 55.28 seconds. This gave us an average of 55.8 seconds to run down the street as Meow Mix. Then I had him jump down the street 15 times and recorded how long it took him each time. The times I got were 55.22 seconds, 55.22 seconds, 55.28 seconds, 56.3 seconds, 56.17 seconds, 55.29 seconds, 56.5 seconds, 55.25 seconds, 56.17 seconds, 55.18 seconds, 55.28 seconds, 56 seconds, 56.02 seconds, 55.28 seconds, and 55.29 seconds, which gave us an average of 55.6 seconds. So the average for running was 55.8 seconds, while the average for jumping was 55.6 seconds. Even though it was by a minuscule amount, at first it appeared that jumping might slightly be faster than walking. But since it was only off by a margin of 0.2 seconds, it could have easily been due to human error. At that point, I assumed that running and jumping take the same amount of time, but then I became curious if height or weight had anything to do with it. Next, I logged on to a tune I made last year called Oh Dear. Oh Dear is the same size as Meow Mix, but is bigger while Meow Mix is thinner. I repeated the same experiment by having Oh Dear run and jump down the street 15 times. The numbers I got for running were 55.27 seconds, 56.08 seconds, 56.05 seconds, 56.10 seconds, 56.25 seconds, 56.5 seconds, 56.19 seconds, 56.14 seconds, 56.15 seconds, 56.11 seconds, 56.20 seconds, 56.18 seconds, 56.29 seconds, 56.11 seconds, and 56.8 seconds, which gave us an average of 56.1 seconds. The times I got for jumping were 58.10 seconds, 55.29 seconds, 56.2 seconds, 56.5 seconds, 56.26 seconds, 56.20 seconds, 56.26 seconds, 56.20 seconds, 56.22 seconds, 56 seconds, 56.20 seconds, 55.27 seconds, 56.17 seconds, 55.26 seconds, 57.19 seconds, which gave us an average of 56.2 seconds. This experiment yielded an interesting result in that the heavier tune took slightly more time to run down the street than the skinnier one did, but it only took 0.4 seconds longer, so it could have easily been a coincidence. In this experiment, running down the street took 0.1 seconds less than jumping did. At this point, I came to the conclusion that running and jumping probably do take the same amount of time, but I just had to be sure. To finish off my experiment, I created a new tune that is the maximum height and had him repeat the same experiment. The results he got for running down the street were 
56.15 seconds, 56.4 seconds, 56.1 seconds, 56.13 seconds, 56.2 seconds, 56.2 seconds, 56.6 seconds, 56.4 seconds, 56.6 seconds, 56.10 seconds, 56.17 seconds, 56.8 seconds, 56 seconds, 56.11 seconds, and 56.4 seconds, which gave us an average of 56.1 seconds. And the results he got for jumping down the street were 57.6 seconds, 58.16 seconds, 56.12 seconds, 57.7 seconds, 56.11 seconds, 56.9 seconds, 56.8 seconds, 56.23 seconds, 56.4 seconds, 56.11 seconds, 57.16 seconds, 56.28 seconds, 56.6 seconds, 56.11 seconds, 56.18 seconds, which gave us an average of 56.5 seconds. This experiment had a very interesting result in that jumping took a bit longer with an average time of 56.5 seconds, while running took an average time of 56.1 seconds. The Tall Tune and Oh Dear seemed to have pretty consistent results, but Meow Mix was the odd one out with his jumping times being faster than his running ones, and his overall times being shorter. This could possibly mean that if you have a short and skinny tune that is slightly faster than taller or heavier tunes, but I couldn't stop there. I needed to be sure. So I went back to where this all began and had Meow Mix repeat the experiment. The times I got for running with Meow Mix the second time were 56.10 seconds, 56.6 seconds, 56.13 seconds, 56.2 seconds, 56.8 seconds, 56.5 seconds, 56.3 seconds, 56.8 seconds, 55.28 seconds, 55.24 seconds, 55.20 seconds, 55.24 seconds, 55.25 seconds, 56.8 seconds, and 56.18 seconds, which gave me an average of 56 seconds on the dot. The times I got for jumping with Meow Mix were 55.15 seconds, 55.29 seconds, 59.16 seconds, 56 seconds, 55.18 seconds, 55.29 seconds, 56.7 seconds, 56.17 seconds, 56.2 seconds, 56.13 seconds, 56.12 seconds, 56.9 seconds, 56.17 seconds, 56.1 seconds, and 55.22 seconds, which gave me an average of 56 seconds on the dot again. These numbers are not exactly the same, but are much closer to the averages that I got with the other tunes. So in the end, I have to conclude that running and jumping take the same amount of time. Despite jumping seemingly giving the illusion of covering more ground, it seems that it is merely an animation on top of the running speed. Also, it appears that height and weight have no effect whatsoever on the speed that it takes to run down the street. Now, just to be clear, these findings aren't absolute. Human error could have easily played a part in the numbers I got. If there is a difference in times between running and jumping, or with height or weight, it seems that it is such a small amount that we can't really notice it. And it would take a member of either the TTO or TTR teams to tell us if there's a speed difference or not. So I hope you enjoyed this little experiment of mine. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Also, be sure to subscribe for some more Toontastic videos coming soon, and I will see you guys next time.